space program, leaping forward into the cosmos. Since the dawn of Kerbal Kine, we have looked to the sky and wondered what sublime mysteries lie hidden in the darkness, like jewels never beheld. These untold treasures may soon reveal themselves due to the efforts of recently founded Kerbal Space Program. Oh my! <laughs> I think that might have been the only copy of the orientation film. Hold on! Slides, uh, somewhere. Ahem. Welcome to your first day running the Kerbal Space Program. This campus hosts the greatest ever gathering of astronomers, astronauts, and engineers. After years of focused effort, this collection of geniuses has created several very impressive buildings. We believe we have all the necessary pieces to take our first steps off the ground. The best way to advance our technologies further is to get up there and learn by doing. All we need now is somebody to show us how to put all these parts together. Well, we also need somebody to help us out with the flying. We need a lot of help, actually. That's why you're here. My name is Paige, by the way. If you need any hints, feel free to visit me over at the training center. Everything in there is well padded, so it's a great place to get up and running. Welcome aboard! Space is the place. So you want to get to space. Have you tried rockets? Rockets use fuel and engines to create thrust, which propels them forward. When a fuel tank is empty, it is dropped to stay as lightweight as possible, allowing the rocket to go even faster. These tanks, as well as other expendable parts of a rocket, are called stages. Different stages do different things. Often the first stage is very powerful, with just enough fuel to get the vehicle through the atmosphere. The second stage usually has a low thrust engine that, while not as powerful, is more fuel efficient. After dropping the heavier first stage and leaving the atmosphere, the second stage engine pushes the much lighter second stage to orbital speed. On a flight to space, the final stage parachutes back down to the surface, ideally in one piece. Welcome to the launch pad. As you embark on your journey into, let's learn how to rotate the flight great. You can also zoom the camera in and out. Nice. Go ahead and pick. Your rocket is ready. Looking good. Ascend to 1,000 meters, and then we'll learn some controls. OK, you're a kilometer up. You can stop and find a rocket or a plane. Nice pitch. Now, let's move on. Yaw steers now yaw to the... Excellent. Now for the final control. Roll. That's the basics of rocket flight. So you want a, a simple rocket. A command module allows us to control our vessel. As long as there is at least one command module on board, our rocket will be operational. This rocket will use a commit for... Great! It doesn't look like my... How about that one? Notice the part is... Now that's beginning to look like a rocket. Well, almost. We need an engine. Here at the KSP, we have... The break free of... Cur now let's add the sustainer engine to the fuel tank. Excellent! Our rocket is looking pretty great. We just need one... Our one Kerbal rock... Now all we need to do is put it... 
Congrats! want to see your designs from other angles. Let's learn how to manipulate the camera inside the vehicle assembly building. First, let's rotate the camera. Nice! Now let's zoom. Great! Now let's pan the ca You can also focus your camera at a specific part. If you want to view your rocket from the top, front, or sides, switch to blueprint mode. If you ever get lost in the VAB, you can always reset the camera. Nice! Now you can get at those hard-to-reach parts of your rocket. Your rocket's ready. Let's take it out for a little hop. Let's move this rocket to a launch. Welcome to the launch pad. Today, you'll be flying straight up. Your rocket should do fine without any steering inputs. But if things get out of line somehow, feel free to intervene. the launch tower and your flight is underway. Let's learn about staging. Rockets are constructed in set. On your right, you'll find the staging stack. It displays all of the functions contained in each stage. Every time you select the go button, you'll activate a new stage, starting from the bottom of the stack. Each stage's fuel supply is shown on a bar next to the stage. Your active stage, stage one, still has a little fuel in it. When it goes dry, you'll drop that stage by selecting go. Your first stage is out of fuel, and all it is doing is slowing you down. Ready? Hit go to lose that mess. Congratulations! You're nearly to space, and your next set of fuel tanks are empty. Now, activate the next stage to set. Your capsule will now continue coasting up. All that's left to do is gaze back down at Kerbin and wonder if you remembered to lock your car. Nice work! Your capsule has a lot of momentum. If you're curious how high up you are, take a look at your altimeter. You're so high that you can see the curve of the horizon. Rocketry involves a lot of waiting between the cool explosions. You can speed up time by selecting the time warp controls at the bottom of your screen. Check, you're about to start falling back down. Let's slow down and enjoy the view. Great job. You're now a... What goes up must come. If you deploy your parachute too early, it'll be torn off. If you deploy it too late, you'll do some unplanned underground exploration. The sweet spot for Kerbin is between 20,000 and 2,000 meters. Okay, you're low enough to activate the final stage that contains your parachute. Hit go to pop your chute. Nice work. The parachute will trail your capsule for a bit without fully opening. Once you've slowed down enough, it'll open all the way by itself. Your parachute is now fully deployed and slowing the capsule to a safe velocity. Congratulations! If this were real, you'd find celebratory snacks in the VAB kitchen. 